while we are on the topic of the bicopters. Um, in the last few months, uh, at least for a few times, I was asked the question how to build the bicopter with INAV, because someone decided that uh, I want to have the bicopter because apparently bicopters are in any way better than the traditional quadcopters. However, the short answer to this problem is that no bicopters are not better in any practical way than the quadcopters. Whatever the bicopter can do, the quadcopter most probably can do just better. It's simpler because, yes, you do not have four motors, but you have two motors and two servos with the servo linkage and the different protocols to driving the servos, then driving the motors, etc. Plus, you have to have the gimbal mechanism for the motors. And this adds the complexity and this lowers the durability of the whole design. Plus, have you ever tried to buy good servos? They are quite pricey and people, when they see how much the good server with the good torque and uh, good driving signal, good digital servo costs, they are, well, well, that's not cheap. Exactly. That's not cheap. And when it comes to flying, it's not better. Absolutely, it's just not better. Quadcopters won because quadcopters are simpler and I just fly nicer. Even the efficiency is not better on the bicopter. Unfortunately, unfortunately that's true. So whenever people ask me, should they build the bicopter? My answer is that no, not really. If you want to have a nice project because this is a nice project that will teach you something, then go away, go, go ahead. However, if you want to build a bicopter because you think you will be able to replace quadcopter with the bicopter, it's just not, it's just not true. By the way, this is exactly the same situation like we had with the three copters. Notice that nobody really flies with the big copters anymore. Three copters had a place in the in the RC hobby in the very beginning when the torque on the motors was super limited. Those motors we were using like eight years ago really had very limited torque, and that meant the yo authority was extremely limited on the quadcopters back then, and the ability to be just to be able to tilt the motor to. Uh, have the torque applied on the tail to spin this thing was an advantage. It's no longer an advantage anymore and uh, everything that is using motors and servos was replaced by only motors because it's lighter, stronger, cheaper and more resistant to crashes.